Altered item number 13, the smoking pram. Quote, item is a baby carriage with a black shade and steel wire wheels. Left front wheel is slightly bent, causing a distinct wobble when pushed. Item produces smoke incessantly. Smoke density varies. Smoke is generated without apparent fire or ignition source. End quote. The smoking pram came under the Bureau's radar in 1979 after the item filled an antique store with smoke. This incident occurred in France on the 2nd of August. Mr. Beaulieu was a fire chief in Paris at that time. He described the fire as, quote, white like a new pope, end quote. White smoke is an indicator that the fire is creating moisture or water vapor as a byproduct to combustion. This suggests the source just started to burn and hasn't come into contact with any significant materials such as chemicals or wood. Supposition. Since white smoke suggests the initial stages of heating an object, the form this altered item takes may reflect this. A baby fire in the cradle. Conversely, specific chemicals such as hexachlorothane can make the smoke appear white. However, since this compound does not naturally occur in the environment, this is unlikely. Despite having no apparent source, analysis of the smoke itself could give clues as to what is happening with the fire without directly observing it. Research Proposal It is recommended to determine the chemical composition of the smoke using thermal desorption and gas chromatography. This will yield new data for the research staff. There are two philosophies that can be used when approaching AI-13's mystery. Creatio ex nihilo or creatio ex materia. Creation from nothing or creation from pre-existing materials. By using the creatio ex materia approach, we acknowledge an actual source for the smoke, despite not being able to see it. Due to various laws of conservation, matter and energy do not come from nothing. Supposition. The smoke may originate from a different physical location and is vented out through the smoking pram. This location can either be somewhere else on Earth or in another threshold. If this is the case, the smoking pram can be classified as a mobile threshold. Currently, the item is being housed in the Panopticon under unique containment procedures, as it is still producing smoke inside the cell. Quote, containment cell must be properly ventilated. Inhalation of the item's smoke causes... End quote. This medical reaction to smoke inhalation may help determine the composition of its ignition source. Research Proposal Once the proper PPE is available, it is recommended for research staff to suit up with proper ventilators and enter the containment cell. The goal is to determine if the smoking pram is deeper on the inside by placing a long object into the cradle. If there is more space inside, a camera should be dropped in to observe the interior. This experiment would determine two things. One, whether or not the smoke is being vented through the item from another location. And two, details about that location. If this experiment fails, it would confirm the cradle is just a cradle with no opening or threshold inside. This would rule out the Creatio ex materia explanation and point to a Creatio ex nihilo origin for the smoke. If this is the case, then the law of conservation of mass and energy should be re-examined. The smoking pram is another example of an item suddenly altering with no apparent reason. For all future reports, this phenomenon will be referred to as spontaneous alteration. As the item was discovered in an antique shop, it is likely to have been present for a period of time before it began to act up. If the cradle was altered prior to being brought to the store, the owner would have noticed before purchasing it. Supposition There are two possibilities for this spontaneous alteration off the top of my head. One, the shop owner unknowingly purchased altered materials, which accidentally caused the cradle's alteration. Two, this is an example of an intentional man-made altered item by an unknown third party. An antique shop contains various objects that can be considered iconic representations of an archetypal concept. As such, it would be a good place to experiment. While there is no evidence to support this, the possibility cannot be discounted. Further details of the incident itself have been lost. Quote, Detailed records of the event leading to the item's discovery were destroyed in an incident in the Panopticon. Interviews with living witnesses were reperformed at the order of the Archives and Records Chief. End quote. Details about this incident are currently unknown. Per testimony from the Panopticon supervisor, Langston, this event left the containment sector understaffed and allowed for his promotion. No specific dates were recorded for when this incident occurred. However, it can be inferred that it occurred sometime during 2009. 
The French fire chief, Mr. Beaulieu, was tracked down in the aftermath to re-interview. They located and re-interviewed him in a retirement home on November 17, 2009. It is likely this interview happened shortly after the Panopticon incident, which destroyed the original Smoking Pram incident report. Supposition. Normally this information would be sent to the investigation sector, but after the Hartman thing, that department is non-existent. So I'll document this here. Based upon the information provided in this report, a troubling narrative may be involved here. An antique store is a place full of potential vessels for altered items. If this place was used as a front to experiment with altered item creation, then the Panopticon incident may be related. With the shop owner allegedly killed from smoke inhalation, no witnesses of the suspected paracriminal activity are alive. At the approximate time of the Panopticon incident, there were roughly 70 altered items housed there. This would include all research, incident reports, and documentation on these items. However, after reviewing all of them, only incident reports related to the smoking pram were destroyed. The files on the other 69 altered items all survived without exception, almost like the specific incident report was targeted. Could the 2009 event in the Panopticon which destroyed this file and led to multiple deaths of containment staff be related to paracriminal organizations? This feels like an attempt to cover up what really happened in that antique shop. Maybe the owner's death wasn't the result of the smoke, but something else. If this antique store really was a front for illegal alter item creation, then these paracriminals would go to any means to hide their illicit activities. Any means. This concludes my report of Altered Item 13, The Smoking Pram.